Hey everybody, thanks for joining us today. My name is Hilary Sullivan. I'm a board member with Roslindale Village Main Street, and we are here today to talk with Cheryl from Threads on Birch Street. So we're here today with Cheryl from Threads right here on Birch Street. And um, let's start by having you tell us what your business does and, and what customers could come in here for. We do, we, we sew. We do dressmaking and alterations and sew just about anything. People we'll come in with their ideas, pictures or drawings even, and uh, we recreate them. What are some of the special events that you help people get ready for? Oh, everything. Weddings, proms, um, quinceaneros, big puffy dresses. Um, oh God, just about anything. Like I said, anything people come in to, to have done, we can do it. How can Roslindale residents support your business? They do. <laughs> <laughs> um, word of mouth. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that's how it's run the whole time I've been here, and it continues that way. Definitely. Yeah. That's how I heard about it the first time. <laughs> um, do you have social media that you'd like to have people follow? Anything like that? I really don't. No? That's okay. I'm telling you. <laughs> word of mouth. Now, are you a Roslindale resident? I am not. No. I did grow up in Jamaica Plain, so I'm cool. close by. Awesome. What, makes, what, what do you think makes Roslindale such a special and unique community? Well, the time that I've been here, everybody's just... Nice. Everybody helps each other. They really do. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the businesses do as well. I mean, I love my spot just because of the flowers and the little park right in front of us. So why have you kept your business in Roslindale for all of these years? Again, nice area. Um, people are great. I have a big clientele of repeat customers always. And there's no reason to leave. <laughs> great, great. No and I don't want you to leave. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're here today with Guy and Silvana Ragusa from Sebastian's Hair Salon. So let's get started by having you tell us what your shop does. Well, primarily our shop is a barber shop uh, slash salon. Uh, do lots of uh, hair cutting uh, uh, for uh, men and women. Uh, we do some coloring as well and, and hair styling. Uh, and that's what we've been doing for a very long time. So tell us about all the array of services that you provide. We're mainly a barber shop, but we do have some cosmetology services as well because we have a hairdresser on staff. Uh, we do coloring, uh, cutting, and, and styling. And, and your basic men's uh, hairstyles, shaves, uh, beard, beard shaves, uh, uh, and various men's haircuts of all different shapes and sizes. Awesome, awesome. And being in the square for such a long time, I imagine that you have a lot of customers who have been coming here for a while. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, many generations. Uh, I mean, still customers that uh, my dad had uh, when he was working here. He stopped working here in 2002, 2001, 2002, and, but still uh, some of those customers are uh, still around and still coming back. So do you have clients of all ages come in here? Oh yeah, yeah, yep. Little we, kids. We do infants, uh -huh. uh, first haircuts, our specialty. Yeah, Guy's the king of little kids' hair. I mean, every, they all are in here, but I think Guy has like a, a special, I don't know, touch. Awesome. Yeah. And do you sometimes uh, see a range of um, you know, cutting hair of a grandparent, a parent, multi generation, a yeah. son, a child. So, when my dad was here back in the day, he had like a little red car, and um, it was on a pole, so he would cut the kids' hair in it. And then, you know, uh, we put it on display in the window, and uh, I had one customer come in. Oh, I used to get my hair cut in there, and it 
I mean, it was older and it was just really neat, you know? And then we'd have like customers come in with their kids, you know, and, um, and they would put their kid in the chair and they'd take a picture, you know? So it's, it's nice. A family affair. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, our customers that come in, they, they come in, either say hi, read the paper, and of course they'll get the haircut or, but it's just nice that they just, how we interact with our customers. And we're just really easygoing and um, no fuss. Awesome, so let's talk about Roslindale. So your dad took over the business in 1984. Um, so past 30 years, um, what have you seen change over that time? Changes in uh, just the, the storefronts, changes in, uh, I mean, businesses come and go. It's nice to still see some of the long-term businesses in the square uh, stick around. Yeah, and there's, there's such a strong business community here. Do you, are you friendly? Do you know a lot of the other business owners? Do you work together in any way? I mean, just from seeing, uh, being in the square every day and walking around the square and seeing all the different uh, uh, employees and owners uh, on a almost daily basis. So yeah, I mean it's it's, it's pretty pretty tight knit. So we are here today with Jacoya and Charnay from 523 Boutique um, and excited to be talking with you. So um, let's start off by having you tell us what your business does and what customers um, visiting could expect from you. So we're a fashion and art boutique. We sell a lot of like local and independent designers clothing and art. Uh, we also print garments, so we print t-shirts and sweatpants, etc. Uh, you can find anything from t-shirts, hats, sneakers, artwork, everything's for sale here. Um, and the majority of the things for sale, like, uh, like I was saying, are from local artists from Boston and surrounding areas. So when customers come in to the business, what is something that you think surprises them? What do people not know about what you're doing in here? I'd say a few things that the art's for sale. They always admire the art, like that's pretty cool. And then when they find out that it's for sale, they're always blown away. Um, and that a lot of our clothes are made from local designers as well. And how can residents support your business? I'm sure shopping, coming in <laughs> for the first time, coming back, but what are other things that uh, residents can do? I think just coming by, um, you know, uh, showing support on our social media, um, which they normally do, we love that. Um, we have a lot of events here, so just supporting the events. The events are normally free um, to the community. So um, yeah, I guess just kind of showing face, like Sharnay said, um, we like interacting with the people. So sometimes just stopping in and you know, kind of getting familiar with the people of Rosendale, I think um, that's better than a sale any day for us. So. Absolutely. Um, any other services that you provide that you want to share? Um, yeah, so we actually provide printing services here. Um, we do screen printing or vinyl printing, um, and you can come in, um, we'll put your logo on a shirt. We actually are in the process of offering it to a lot of up and coming new clothing brands or designers. So if you're a new up and coming brand and you're looking to get your product started or, you know, some brand work, you can stop in the store and we'll help you out with that. Awesome. So you mentioned that you hold events. What kind of events do you hold? I would do a lot of, uh, art, art events and pop-up shops. Uh, so with us hosting so many designers. We get inquiries all the time, but it's hard to take in everyone. So for the ones that we may not be able to host or we don't know about, we offer a pop-up shop every month where they can kind of come in. We take everything out of the store and they take over the store for the day. Um, we use it as an opportunity to scout new talent, new merch, and just meet new people and hopefully find uh, more products to put into the store as well. Very cool. Any chance you are hosting art for Roslindale Open Studios? Yes, we do want to be a part of that this year. Last year we just missed it, uh, but I heard great things about the event and we're looking forward to it this year. Thanks for joining us everybody. Hope you enjoyed our video series. If you'd like to see more of our videos about local Roslindale businesses, you can go ahead and click the link to subscribe.